Hello everyone. Welcome to the course on data structures and algorithm. In this video, we are going to see bubble shot algorithm. So before we move to the algorithm and the program, let us first try to understand how bubble shot works. So let us take one example. We are having six different elements in this example. Uh, so the size of this particular array is six. The list is six. And now we wish to shot it. All right. So over here, how bubble shot works? So we compare two adjacent elements. And if required, we swap them. This is the very simple concept. For example, the 42 and 23, these are adjacent element. Then like 74 and 11, then these and this, even 23 and 74 are adjacent and 11 and 65 are adjacent. So this adjacent elements are to be compared and if required, we will swap them. So let us start doing it. So first 42 and 23, we compare them. And because I want, let's say, maximum to be on the right hand side. So I'll be pushing the maximum on this side. So if this 42 is greater than 23, I'll be pushing it. So I have shifted 43 over here and 23 over here. So I have swapped them. All right. Now let us compare this 42 with 74. Now 74 is already higher. So it is on the right hand side. So we do not need to swap them. So now let us compare 74 and 11. Now 11 is smaller and 74 is higher. So I want the higher number on the right hand side. So I'll be changing, swapping. So 74 is now over here and 11 is now over here. Now let us compare these two, 74 and 65. Now 74 is higher but it is on the left hand side. So we will be swapping. So now 74 is over here, 65 is over here. And lastly we'll compare 74 with 58. And 58 is smaller, but I want higher number on this side. So I'll be swapping them. I'll be swapping them. So now 74 is over here and 58. Now you can see that 74 is at its right position. The rightmost position is having the maximum. So now this after this one phase, this 74 has come to its right place. Now all we need to see is this five elements. So now let us again do the same stuff. Let us compare first with second. Already 42 is higher and it is on the right hand side. So great. We do not need to change. Now next time let us compare 42 with 11. So we need to change because 42 is uh, higher but it is on the left hand side and I want the higher number to be on the right hand side. So change. Now again compare 42 with 65. All right. So 65 is already higher and it is on the right hand side. So I don't need to swap and lastly compare 65 and 58. Now in this case I need to swap because 65 is higher but it is on the left hand side. So I'll be shifting it over here and 58 over here. So now 65 at its right position the second maximum number. So now all you need to do is just look at this many elements. So again now start comparing the first number with second. So 23 and 11. So I need to swap them because 23 is higher, but it is on the left hand side. So I have swapped them. Now compare 23 with 42. So 42 is already higher, but it is on the right hand side. So no need to swap. And now lastly compare 42 with uh, 58. And 58 is already higher. So 58 is on the right hand side. So do, we do not need to short. Now if you can see, in fact, this array is already in shorted uh, fashion. Right from this place, I do not need to make any comparison if we see them. But because we need to follow the procedure, we will be doing it again and again. So to solve this problem later on, uh, we'll be introducing a simple concept of flag that we'll see in a little while. So meanwhile, let us start comparing. So 58 is at its right position. Now we have three elements to check now. So compare first with second, 11 with 23. So again, no need to swap and 23 to 42. So no need to swap. So 42 is at its right position. And lastly, now I am having two more elements left. So 11 and 23, no need to swap. So 23 and 11. So now this is my complete shorted order. So 11, 23, so from right from minimum to maximum. All right. So now if we compare this slowly, let me remove everything. So in this case, 
uh, we start from this place so this is very important we start from this place let's say I call it I okay so we start from I equal to 0 and every time I compare I have a second uh, variable let's say j equal to 0 so I compare j0 with j1 then again I increment j so I go all the way up to this place so j equal to 0, j equal to 1, j equal to 2, j equal to 3, j equal to 4. So I go up to this j equal to 4. So every time I start with j and we go all the way up to 4. But now in this case, after the first element, after the first element is placed on its right position, what do we do? We again start from j equal to 0. We again start from j equal to 0. But we do not go all the way up to j equal to 4. We go up to j equal to 3 only so now these two elements are compared these two elements are compared these two elements are compared and then these two elements are compared so I do not need to go all the way up to this right so j equal to 3 now once this second element is put on to the right place what do we do again we start j equal to 0 and we go up to j equal to 2 so we are reducing the the upper limit every time we start j equal to 0 so every j is starting from 0 every time but the end condition is initially 4 then 3 then 2 then 1 all right so this is something that i need to incorporate in my logic so let us move now so now you can see that we are having i equal to 0 to size minus 1 supposing if we take the same example of six elements all right so these are the six elements so size equal to 6 so 6 minus 2 so when i start from 0 to 6 minus 2 so 6 minus 2 is 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 so overall i need to repeat the entire process this many times so when i is equal to 0 now check this out when i is equal to 0 initially j equal to 0 j less than 6 minus 0 minus 2 so 6 minus 0 minus 2 this is 4 so j equal to 0 2 4 so when i equal to 0 j equal to 0 1 2 3 4 next time when i equal to 1 let us try to understand next time when i equal to 1 we put i equal to 1 over here so now it is 6 minus 1 minus 2 so 6 minus 1 5 minus 2 3 so now j equal to 0 1 2 3 next time i equal to 2 when i take i equal to 2 so when i put i equal to 2 here j becomes j starts from 0 to 6 minus 2 minus 2 so 6 minus 2 4 minus 2 2 so j equal to 0 1 and 2 likewise when i go for i equal to 3 j will be 0 and 1 and uh, when i equal to 4 i equal to 4 j will be only 0 so this is how the entire execution is done so if we take this example j equal to 0 j equal to 0 means 0 1 th this comparison then this comparison then 2 means this comparison 3 means this comparison and 4 means this comparison now if we talk of this if we talk of this then in that case we are having six elements all right so j equal to 0 1 2 so j equal to 0 1 2 3 so this is compared with this this is compared with this this is compared with this and 3 is compared with this so will not go all the way this will not compare because at this point of time the maximum has already been placed so i do not need to go over here and if i take this as an example let me put some over here so in this case these are six different elements and j equal to 0 1 2 so j equal to 0 1 2 means i'll be comparing this with this i'll be comparing this with this and i'll be comparing this with this i will not go here and i will not go here why because these two elements have already been shorted so this is how the entire logic of this thing works so from i works from 0 to size minus 1 and j starts from 0 to size minus i minus two and every time i compare j with j plus one and if required we swap them that's it so this is the simple logic now the 
problem with this one is if the array is already sorted for example you have been given something like this some elements are given like 4 6 8 10 12 and 14 you can see this the array itself is already sorted all right so how does this algorithm works so in that case in that case you know it will keep on doing everything so is there any way i can detect whether my array is in sorted order or not yes there is a way what is that way so if i keep on comparing if i compare this with this 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 and if i compare this and if there is not a single swap that means the array is in shorted order so for that what we are going to do we are going to introduce one extra variable let's say flag equal to zero and if if there is if the flag equal to if if there is a swap all right if there is a swap then in that case we'll you know change this flag sorry here there is a mistake we'll change the flag to one so if there is a swap we'll change the flag to one that means in case of this kind of example in case of something like two three four five six seven all right so in this case there will not be a single swap there will not be a single swap so it will not go here and flag will remain zero and zero only so if flag equal to zero will be breaking breaking means coming out so we do not need to go back and check again so just by introducing one extra variable you can even take care of already shorted order already shorted list or array so this is all about bubble shot we do have one you know program how we are going to write a program so this is nothing but my size count is nothing but my size equal to six so we are starting i from zero and we are going all the way up to size minus one so six minus one so less than six minus one that means up to five so zero one two three four so less than 5 that means up to 4 so this will be the value of i and j will be starting from 0 and will be doing all the way count minus i minus 1 we have already seen this so less than means up to count minus i minus 2 and then we compare this jth element with j plus 1 and it require will swap them right so this is how it is done and this is a complete dry run so these are all the elements that we have put over here all right and then for initially i equal to zero for i equal to zero uh, the value of j are zero zero one two three and four and now we are comparing every element first we compare 42 with 23 so if required we swap them so look at this these two elements are swapped then we compare 42 with 74 so swapping is not required then we compare 74 with 11 74 with 11 so look at the swapping is required over here so we have swapped then we compare 74 with 65 all right so that is also swapping is required so 65 and lastly we compare 74 with 58 so in that case also swapping is required so now 74 is at its right place then next time i equal to 1 so for i equal to 1 again j equal to 0 1 2 3 and again we'll be comparing all elements and you know swapping will be done so in the end you will have a complete shorted list you can simply pause this uh, uh, video and look at all these elements one by one now let us just for the sake of exercise only you know let us try to trace a bubble shot for a given value for example this thing is given so we know that what do we need to do let us first try to compare the first two elements so 42 23 3 swap is required yes 42 74 no 74 11 yes if this number is higher uh, than this number if this one is higher and if this one is lower then this in that case we will be swapping otherwise swapping is not required so 74 is greater than 65 years so swapping 74 greater than 58 years swapping 74 greater than 94 no no swapping 94 greater than 36 years so swapping 94 greater than 99 
no then no swapping and 99 greater than 87 yes then swapping so you can see 99 has come to its place now again let us start now we'll be doing till this point only because this has already uh, been done so now again 23 is greater than 42 no 42 is greater than 11 yes so swapping 42 is greater than 65 no 65 is greater than 58 yes so swapping 65 is greater than 74 no 74 is greater than 36 yes then swapping then 74 greater than 94 no no swapping 94 greater than 87 yes then swapping so now 94 is also at the right place so now if i continue look at this so up to this point now i don't need to worry about these things are okay so 23 greater than 11 yes swapping all right then uh, 23 greater than 42 no 42 greater than 58 no 58 greater than 65 no 65 greater than 36 yes so swapping right then 65 greater than 74 no and 74 greater than 87 no so now this 87 is also at the right place so now these three numbers have been placed at the right places now let us try to compare again 11 greater than 23 no 23 greater than 42 no 42 greater than 58 no but 58 greater than 50 36 yes so swapping all right then 58 greater than 65 no and 65 greater than 74 no so this is done so now i am having the fourth element now if you carefully look so again uh, the fourth element all these elements have been uh, put at the right place again let us start 11 greater than 23 no 23 greater than 42 no 42 greater than 65 yes so swapping so this thing is done then 42 greater than 58 no 58 greater than 65 no so now 65 is at its right position now if you carefully look this is already in shorted order so now check 11 greater than 23 no then 23 greater than uh, 36 no 36 greater than 42 no and 42 greater than 58 no that means there is not a single swap so if this is the case we can use that flag logic and now we can sh declare the entire array as a shorted array so this is the complete tracing of a particular uh, list of values using bubble short so with this uh, we conclude this uh, video on bubble short in uh, next video we'll be taking heap shot so thank you guys for uh, being over here